Thank you for joining today's online travel presentation. It's the perfect time of year to talk about the best holiday season rail vacations. My name is Lynn, and I am pleased to be your moderator for this presentation. We understand that this year, most people are staying home for the holidays, but it is a great time to start gathering ideas and planning for next year. So thank you for being here. Before we begin, I'd like to mention two things. First, we will hold all questions until the end. If you have questions during the presentation, please type them in the question box in the GoToWebinar toolbar, and we will cover them at the end of the webinar. And second, there will be two polling questions during the presentation. Again, you can answer by replying in the GoToWebinar comment box, and we encourage you to participate. So let's get started. As I mentioned, I am Lynn, and I'll be your moderator, and I'm pleased to introduce our presenter, Graham, one of our knowledgeable rail specialists. So now that you know who we are, we'd like to get to know a little bit more about you. It is our first polling question, and it is, have you vacationed over the winter holiday? So I'll leave this poll open for a bit to let everyone let us know, yes or no, if you're a, a holiday traveler or not. All right, so it looks as though we have a lot of responses coming in and Graham, we're seeing more no's about vacations over the winter holiday than yeses. So I hope we can provide some inspiration for future years as we talk about some holiday infused itineraries. A rail vacation during the holiday season is extra special. You can experience firsthand how other destinations and cultures celebrate the season while giving yourself the amazing gift of travel. Vacations by Rail is the leading rail vacations company in the United States and the trusted authority on rail. We offer the largest collection of vacations to destinations around the globe in a variety of travel styles, and the cornerstone of each is a rail journey aboard at least one of the world's iconic trains. I'm excited for Graham to tell us about some of the great destinations perfect for this time of year. Take it away, Graham. Thank you, Lynn. Um, yeah, as, as Lynn mentioned, my name's Graham. I'm one of our uh, rail specialists here at uh, Vacations by Rail. Um, and one of the most festive and fun parts of the holiday season is Europe's Christmas markets. Uh, you can browse the local wares, drink some mulled wine and snack on warm nuts, uh, gingerbread uh, and other seasonal treats, obviously, as well. Uh, the twinkling lights and merry atmosphere are the perfect backdrop for a seasonal getaway. Germany's Christmas markets are some of the best known, uh, so off we go to Germany in a unique Christmas markets itinerary. So discover the truly special wintry beauty of the Rhine River and its superb cities on the Rhineland Christmas markets cruise which takes you on a fantastic voyage through the stalls, streets and squares of, the, of this magnificent corner of the world. So this is a five day tour beginning and ending in London. Uh, the tour is escorted, which means you will have a tour manager with you from start to finish. Uh, they're there to take care of all of the uh, logistics, um, getting, to, getting you to the right place at the right time. Um, some of the highlights of the tour include cruising through the Rhine Gorge and passing Lorelei Rock. Uh, a famous natural structure on the bank of the river uh, before arriving into Rudersheim uh, for the first of the Christmas markets. Uh, there is a guided tour of Mainz uh, and in Strasbourg there is a choice of excursions, either a guided tour of the city or an excursion out into the Alsace region. Uh, of course one of the biggest highlights are the Christmas markets in both Mainz uh, and Strasbourg as well. Um, and the itinerary can vary uh, sometimes as well, but uh, obviously speak to a rail specialist uh, and they'll obviously let you know if there are any kind of differences uh, in any of our itineraries. Um, but uh, this, as I say, is, is one of our most popular ones. Uh, here you have some uh, beautiful images that portray some of the destinations that we will visit. Uh, in the main image is Strasbourg. The uh, top right is Rudersheim. Uh, and then the final image at the bottom is uh, Mainz. And so just a rundown of some of the highlights of the trip uh, and a couple that I didn't mention previously uh, in Rudersheim, you enjoy a trip to uh, Siegfried's mechanical music cabinet uh, where there are over 350 instruments playing by themselves. 
and, and, and an excursion to the uh, Lalique Museum, which showcases some of the incredible work of René Lalique, uh, who was a glass designer uh, in the early 1920s. And Christmas markets are a bucket list experience for many. Uh, while, our Chris, while our Rhineland Christmas markets tour is unique for its river cruise element, staying entirely on land is also an option with similar market tours, uh, including Cologne, which is home to seven Christmas markets throughout the city uh, and the region of Bavaria as well. So let's move on to uh, Switzerland, a true winter wonderland and a delightful country for holiday season travel. So the very best sites and attractions of Switzerland lie ahead on the Grand Train Tour of Switzerland in winter itinerary. You will enjoy a look at the land from all angles as you cruise the beautiful waters of Lake Lucerne and ascend some of the region's most iconic mountains, including Mount Rigi and Mount Schilthorn. You will experience historic cities, resort towns, quaint villages, and everything in between. Your time here begins and ends in Zurich and continues to Lucerne, Interlaken, Montreux, Zermatt, and San Moritz. Each destination brings wonderful sightseeing opportunities and full immersion in Swiss culture. You will have time to explore on your own, as well as to embark on well-planned excursions as you travel across the country. In addition to everything else this tour offers, your trip is rounded out by scenic rail journeys aboard the Glacier Express and the Benina Express. So this is an 11 day independent vacation. So unlike the escorted tour we looked at previously, uh, you will be traveling independently on this particular tour, which gives you the freedom to explore at your own pace and leisure. Uh, and one of the most important inclusions of this itinerary is a Swiss travel pass. Uh, this provides you unlimited travel by train, bus and boat, plus select mountain excursions and admission to more than 500 museums. Uh, obviously, one of the highlights of the trip is the spectacular scenery that you will see at every turn throughout Switzerland. And there is no better way to experience this than on, the two, than on two of the most iconic trains in Europe, uh, the Glacier Express and the Bernina Express, uh, which are both fantastic rail journeys to travel on. Uh, Zermatt and San Moritz are incredible places to see in the winter as well and give you that quintessential charm of a Swiss town, uh, especially in the winter. And again, just some scenic highlights of the itinerary. So if we move uh, clockwise from the top left, uh, there is uh, Zurich. Uh, in the centre, there is Mount Rigi. Uh, and then next to that, the uh, Glacier Express. In the bottom right is Lucerne, and then the image of Mount Schilthorn, and then finally in the bottom left, uh, you have uh, the Bernina Express. And here's just a rundown of some of the highlights. Uh, and while the Glacier Express and Bernina Express are incomparable journeys and true highlights of the trip, the mountain excursions offer something truly memorable as well. Our Mount Rigi trip begins with a boat cruise on Lake Lucerne, then comes the venerable Mount Rigi Railway, which has been taking visitors up the Queen of the Mountains from Viznau since 1871. At Rigi Kulm, you'll find a majestic 360 degree panorama with views of the Swiss Plateau as far as the Black Forest, the Vogue Mountains and the Ring of Mountains from the Glarus Alps to the Bernese Alps. After the journey, travel back down by cog, Cogwheel Railway to the Art Galdau, and then onwards by train back to Lucerne. You may recognize Mount Schilthorn from the James Bond film on Her Majesty's Secret Service, but whether you're a Bond fan or not, the Schilthorn attracts visitors with a magnificent 360 degree panoramic view of the Swiss skyline, including the Eiger, Munch and Jungfrau. Since 1967, the aerial cableway makes its way from Steckelberg in the Lauterbrunnen Valley up to the summit in four legs. Visitors can follow in James Bond's footsteps by, by visiting the interactive adventure ex exhibition Bond World 007 or on the new 007 Walk of Fame. Uh, 
so that was an independent vacation that travels many times throughout the holiday and winter season. If you're interested in, in escorted travel in Switzerland and specifically at Christmas time, look no further than First Class Glacier Express at Christmas, a nine day itinerary offers offering a festive journey through the winter landscapes of Switzerland. And so traveling back a bit closer to home, the Canadian Rockies is home to five national parks, charming resort towns and incredible scenery. Add a fresh blanket of snow and some refreshing outdoor activities. And it's little wonder why this Alpine setting is a great destination for a holiday season rail vacation. So from the grand architecture and fast pace of Vancouver, to the peace and quiet of Lake Louise, there is something for everyone on this journey through Canada's western provinces in winter. So this is an eight day independence vacation. So once again, we're setting our own pace and seeing and doing what is most important to us. Begin the tour with a night in Vancouver before boarding your via rail train for an overnight journey through the mountains en route to Jasper. Keep your eyes peeled for wildlife as you enjoy the sights from the train's lounges. Upon arrival in Jasper, let the traditional activities of the region guide your time or enjoy a guided tour of this true winter wonderland. A motor coach takes us through the rest of the countryside with overnights in Lake Louise and Banff, towns that offer their own magical touches. Take in the ice castle of Lake Louise, the hot springs in Banff and all the gorgeous rugged scenery between our stops. As the motor coach transfers us to Calgary, our time in the beautiful Canadian Rockies comes to a close. And just some visual highlights of the journey. Uh, if we start clockwise again from the top left is uh, Jasper. Uh, you then have Lake Louise with the famous snow dusted chateau. Uh, Via Rails Canadian in the bottom right. Um, some of uh, the Canadian Rockies wildlife, uh, bears and moose. Uh, and then finally in the bottom left is Banff. And while some call out the deluxe hotel properties, which are decked for the holidays and add a touch of magic to every stay, the classic overnight rail experience on Via Rails Canadian is noted as a highlight by many travelers. Get a taste of the onboard experience and watch as the scenery changes from mild winter conditions in Vancouver to a full-on winter wonderland and alpine experience on arrival in the Rockies. An expanded itinerary is available over the Christmas holiday. You can ask a rail specialist about Christmas in the Rockies, which offers additional overnight in Jasper, Lake Louise and Banff. Additional winter getaways ideal for the end of the year holidays, whether it's Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, Christmas or other observed special days. And New Year's include Trans-Canada adventures, including a stay in Jasper National Park, Banff and Jasper winter get get getaways and Eastern Canada festive itineraries. And so the last destination uh, we're visiting today is the Pacific Northwest with its mild winter conditions and easy accessibility from most parts of the US in particular. It is a popular destination for anyone seeking a change of pace for the winter holidays. An itinerary that showcases this destination very well during the season is Pacific Northwest at Christmas time. Uh, explore the festive scenery of Seattle and Vancouver as you discover the winter wonderland these great cities offer. So this is a seven day independent vacation. So again, it means you can travel at your own pace and, pace and leisure. Uh, kick off your holiday excursion with a tour of Seattle full of wonderful holiday attractions. Experience downtown, the waterfront and Pioneer Square, including the famous Space Needle. In your free time, explore the city's wonderful winter fest. Next, head inland to Snoqualmie Falls for an amazing wintry tour. This sightseeing excursion will lead you deep into the rolling cascade foothills. 
Then take a beautiful train ride into Canada as you travel to Vancouver. The Capilano Suspension Bridge Park is decked out in colour and lights, making for a festive setting for your tour. Stroll through towering trees, including the world's tallest Christmas tree. Uh, finally, enjoy a day-long tour of Victoria and the Bouchard Gardens. The Bouchard Gardens has a special Christmas tour that provides a festive feel among the wreaths and carol singers. Don't forget to check out Vancouver's Christmas markets as well. And again, just some images that highlight this itinerary. Um, you have uh, Seattle, obviously, in the, uh, the top left. Uh, the uh, Bouchard Gardens uh, with their Christmas lights. Uh, in the bottom right is uh, Snoqualmie Falls. Uh, the Fairmont Seattle, uh, Victoria. And then finally, in the bottom left is the Capilano Suspension Bridge uh, lit for the holidays. And so a favorite excursion on this trip is to the uh, Snow Snoqualmie Falls, one of Washington's most popular scenic attractions, which we visit on a six hour wintery tour. Visit an, in sorry, winery tour rather. Visit an independent family run winery, as well as the beloved world-class Chateau Saint-Michel, Washington's oldest and most acclaimed winery. The tour travels over Lake Washington on Seattle's famous Evergreen Point Bridge, the world's second, second longest floating bridge uh, to Woodenville, home to dozens of Washington's wineries. And while this itinerary is a real highlight for Christmas in particular, many other popular winter getaways travel over the winter holidays and offer great experiences from coast to coast rail experiences to New Orleans, festive at any time of year. And finally, on any of our independent vacations, you can enhance your experience with upgrades. Uh, you can add excursions, extra night hotels, or possibly just upgrade the hotels or class of service on board the rail. Uh, each independent package includes different options. So please be sure to speak with your rail specialist for additional ideas. Uh, many of our escorted tours can be customized as well at the beginning or end of the tour with flexible start and end destinations, connecting rail and pre and post night hotel packages. Uh, so thank you so much for listening, and I will now hand you back over to Lynn uh, for our second polling question. Thanks so much, Graham. Our second polling question is, what type of holiday travel experiences are you interested in? So Graham told us about a lot of great destinations and experiences for the holiday season. Um, why don't you go ahead and select one of those? Or if there are other ideas that are on your mind, definitely share them with us. We'll keep this open for just a little bit. And Graham, the answers are coming in and I'm seeing lots of Christmas markets once it's safe to travel again and the borders open, as well as overnight rail experiences in Canada. So those are both excellent choices. If you'd like to learn more about our rail vacations for the holidays or any time of the year, you can request a Vacations by Rail brochure by calling 877-929 7245 or visit www.vacationsbyrail.com. So um, it is time for some questions for our attendees, Graham. Um, we've gotten um, several. Do you have time for a couple? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, the first question we have is, can I uh, add special activities like high tea at a Fairmont property to my itinerary? Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's certainly something that we can book. We would obviously just make that request uh, you know, with the hotel directly. And uh, yeah, if you want to add anything like that on, it's uh, just um, you know, speak to one of our rail specialists. And uh, yeah, we're always happy to help with, with adding um, you know, special activities on like that. Wonderful. The second one, um, also along the lines of special activities, can I add lift tickets in the Canadian Rockies to a winter itinerary? 
Uh, yep, certainly possible as well. Um, obviously, there are various destinations to ski in the in the Canadian Rockies, so um, it's always possible for us to uh, to add those lift tickets, add those lift tickets on as well. Thanks. Um, this is a great question. What type of accommodations are available on Via Rail's Canadian? Yeah, absolutely. So um, there are three types of accommodation that are available. Um, when we were looking at our Winter in the Rockies tour, where we only spend one night on board the Canadian, uh, there are two types of accommodation. Uh, so the first is a semi-private berth um, with sofas during the daytime, which then convert to upper and lower berths like bunk beds. Uh, this is separated from the rest of the carriage by a heavy curtain. Uh, the second option is a private cabin, which uh, again has upper and lower berths for sleeping arrangement, uh, but also has a toilet in the cabin as well. Um, and then if you were looking at one of our pot uh, potential uh, Trans-Canada trips from Vancouver over to Toronto, uh, there's also Prestige Class, uh, which again is a private cabin, which has a, uh, a fully flat double bed uh, and also includes a private toilet and shower um, in the cabin as well. Thanks, Graham. Um, the next question is, can you describe the coach transportation on the Winter in the Rockies itinerary? Is it like an escorted tour? Um, yeah, in a way. I mean, obviously, it is a motor coach and there will be kind of other other people on the sightseeing tour as well. But uh, they won't necessarily be doing kind of the same itinerary as you. So um, uh, similar in a way, but uh, but still you'll still be kind of traveling independently on that particular trip. Great. Uh, we have time for one more question, and it is, can I upgrade my hotel room? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Certainly on our independent itineraries, that is always possible to upgrade the hotel rooms. And, and as I mentioned before, it's best just to uh, speak to one of our rail specialists to, uh, to help with that. And on our escorted tours, that's usually possible as well. Um, and we may just need to make that request from our hotel suppliers. Thanks so much, Graham. Uh, that's all the time we have for questions, but um, if you did enter a question and it was not answered, one of our rail specialists will get back to you with a, a, an answer just as soon as um, they receive them today. And um, of course, they're available for any um, questions you may have or to make a reservation. Uh, they can be reached at 877-929-7245. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you so much for attending and have a happy holiday season.